What's good, YouTube? Hard Bodies A Um, if you ever wondering why I be wearing the same stuff in certain videos, hey, I record videos <laughs> when they come to me. You feel me? But anyway, uh, topic of this video. Actually, uh, my pastor, he started watching my channels. I appreciate the support. You feel me? Hey, but yeah, he said he was watching my channel, and he brought something to my attention. Like, throughout my videos, see? So, a lot of my videos be uh, pretty much expressed on what I see on social media and stuff in the gym and stuff like that. Like, for example, when I, uh, the topic I like to push that hard words beat genetics. Um, now, let me just really pretty much elaborate more on that. Now, when I say hard words beat genetics, I'm pretty much trying to eliminate get people to, to eliminate the idea that their genetics is going to hold them back so they don't work hard. What I'm trying to do is, yeah, basically trying to eliminate that excuse. Oh, my genetics is bad. I'm trying to eliminate, get people off of that and to get them to still push what you've been blessed with to its full potential. Now, I can understand that it it will it can to those that, that really not knowing about... uh. You know, knowing about genetics and stuff like that or new to bodybuilding or new to lifting, period, that that will send the wrong message that they're able to achieve a certain physique. Now, the reality is that we're all different. That's the reality. We got different bloodlines. We all come from different bloodlines. We've been mixed with certain things. Some people are mixed, you know, and genetics are a big, a big, big, they, that's a big part of whether if you're going to succeed in bodybuilding or not. So it, it's a reality that, you know, everybody is not built to be like this. Everybody doesn't have the genetic makeup for this. But since if you, you say you lack the genetics to reach a certain goal or to reach, you know, to, to, to look a certain way, that doesn't mean that you still could, uh, half step in the gym just based on your genetics based on the genetics since since you have that limitation that should want to want you to push yourself even more so really i'm not really trying to say that you know that hey if you if you work out hard enough you could look like me or you could look like the next man or look like this person no what it is is i just i i try to stress to those to not let your genetics, that thought of your of you having bad genetics be a stumbling block and will stop you to push yourself to your genetic potential. Because, I mean, like I said, we all are gifted in certain areas. I happen to have a big chest, naturally. It runs in my family. You can probably see it off my baby brother. You feel me? Those that know my baby brother, you got a big chest. So somebody in our family have this chest structure. But I, I'm not wide enough in the back. But I know what I do do. I chase. I go hard as possible on my back. I make sure that my every rep counts. Every little stretch counts. Every little thing. So I'm going to make the best out of what I was blessed with. You feel me? And um, I ain't satisfied, of course. I probably won't reach the, the, mo the, the width that I would like it. But my back is thick. And I feel like, you know, it will put some pressure on some people on stage. I'm just saying, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, though, man, don't let you having bad genetics stop you from pushing yourself to its full genetic potential. With these fake naturals out here, you feel me? I was, I'm chasing that. I'm chasing it. I'm being chasing it. So now, now that the fake natty thing then blew everything out and then everybody is out there now. So, hey, I... I feel like I, I built a cool physique chasing them lies. But don't let that, don't let the fake naturals, don't let uh, uh, your genetics discourage you and stop you from going hard in the gym. You feel me? Because you will make some change. If you're consistent, you will make some change and you will make the best out of what you got. Because reality is everybody don't have the same genetic makeup, you know, some people are good at this, some people are not at all, are not, you know, some people aren't, 
But don't let that stop you from pushing yourself to the fullest. Don't push yourself to your own genetic potential, man. That's all I'm saying. Not saying that hard words be genetics, meaning that if you work hard, you will uh, uh, look like the next man. No, what I'm saying is don't let your genetics stop you from pushing your body to its genetic potential. You never know what you could achieve. You never know. If you, you thought you wasn't genetically blessed in the area and then you get with the right person or see the right video or see because the information is out there. Somebody will show you a way that where it'll work for your body and you will start to stimulate new growth and stuff like that. It's out there. The info out there, man. Stay, I'm steady learning. There's this guy um, in the gym that I've been watching for the past few weeks. Uh, I, he looked Middle Eastern. I don't know. But the dude, the way he trains... It's, it's just, you just know he knows what he's doing. You feel me? So I'm still learning. There's this guy, I st I've been watching him, how he trained legs. It gave me some tips. So, well, you know what? Maybe I need to implement certain, certain those certain movements because I like, I seen how the contraction was. You want to stay learning. Stay trying something. You know what I mean? If you feel like it will be benefit to you, go ahead and try that. But do not, I repeat, do not let your genetics be the stumbling block for you to reach your best potential. Go ahead and bust your butt in that gym. You never know what you'll get out of your bad genetics. I'm Hard Body J. Timmo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless.